Hello, welcome to the weather for the week ahead from the Met Office. It's a bit of a messy picture through this week, a bit of a hodgepodge of weather overall. Some of the trends are that it will be getting a little bit warmer, but not necessarily with more sunshine. Actually, it really be the humidity that we notice rising. And that in turn is likely to provide, particularly through the second half of the week, some fairly heavy showers. It's a case of high pressure disappearing and low pressure taking over, really. That's how we start the week, with high pressure in control. It does sink southward slowly, and low pressure gradually moves in. And that is what will bring more clouds and, as I said, potentially some quite heavy showers uh, during the second half of the week. But look here, high pressure isn't too far away. That could topple back in for the weekend. Anything toppling in through Monday night and Tuesday is uh, these weather fronts. That's going to bring a bit of a north-south split for Tuesday with cloud and rain across Scotland, at times over northern England and northern Ireland. Could see some heavy bursts here late in the day, whereas further south, from the Midlands southwards, most places will be dry. Fairly cloudy, yes, but a bit of sunshine will really see temperatures jumping up. Quite a warm feel here. We could get up to 23 or 24 degrees, whereas where it's cloudy and uh, damp, particularly across parts of eastern Scotland, temperatures really struggling a little bit. Now, there's that area of high pressure still trying to hold on through Tuesday night and Wednesday across the south, but increasingly the uh, low is becoming more dominant and there's more weather fronts moving in as well. So again, a bit of a north-south split on Wednesday, but the rain is sinking south and we could see more of it over the East Midlands and parts of East Anglia for a time. Again, rain on and off across a good part of Scotland through Northern Ireland. Northern England and North Wales. The best of any sunny spells will be across the south, where again, it will be quite warm and quite humid. Whereas for the north, well, a bit of brightness could see temperatures over 20 degrees, but most places still only in the high teens. Whereas for the south, mid 20s easily, a bit of sunshine, we could see yeah, temperatures even a little bit higher than that. By the time we get to Thursday, we've got this uh, set of weather fronts. And in here, this is called a warm sector, in here, some warm and humid air. And that means that the showers that we see on Thursday could be pretty lively downpours, the potential for some heavy rain falling in a short space of time. Now, as always with showers in the summer, they'll be somewhat hit and miss, not everywhere seeing them, but across Northern Britain in particular, there is the risk of some quite lively downpours. Further south, well, even here, there'll be a few showers dotted around, but again, we may well see some sunshine at times, but overall, it will be a cloudier day across the south and temperatures again here getting into the low 20s, whereas further north we're in the mid to high teens at best. But the main thing about Thursday is those showers, potentially thundery showers, that could cause some problems. So we already have a yellow warning in force. Now that's a, quite a large area we're covering here because we're talking a few days away. Not everywhere in this yellow zone is going to see the thunderstorms, but where we do see them, where they do crop up, as I said, they could drop a lot of rain in a short space of time and therefore potentially cause some problems, particularly, say, on the roads. Into Friday, and it's still looking showery, but not as many showers in the west. The showers mostly focused across the east. Again, they could still be on the heavy side, but it looks as if it'll turn a little bit drier across the west as we start to see perhaps the influence of that area of high pressure we talked about moving back in. Again, temperatures high teens, low 20s. It all depends on the sunshine. Some coasts, if you've got the breeze off the sea through this week, while well, some coasts will stay rather gloomy and rather cool, but we see a bit of brightness inland we will get those temperatures over 20 degrees Celsius. So as I said, perhaps turning a bit drier in the west as this area of high pressure moves in, getting rid of that low pressure system. But there's a lot of uncertainty about the timing of this come the end of the week. But at the moment, it does look as if high pressure will start to ebb in through the weekend, which promises something a little bit drier and probably a little bit sunnier as well, but still a potential for some showers across the east. As always, in this week ahead forecast for more details on the weekend. You really need to stay tuned over the next few days. One of the best ways to keep up to date is to follow us on social media.